Good morning. Today is, what is it, Tuesday? I don't know. It's July 24th. It's almost 7 in the morning. It's still not real cool in this room, but it is kind of cool outside this morning, though they are calling for another heat advisory in this area today. I got the bike most of the way loaded up. I'm going to load it up the rest of the way and uh, get on the road. Man, these, uh, these people have been coming in by the uh, bus load all morning, all yesterday afternoon, all night. I guess they're all going on some sort of tours. It's a few minutes after 7. I'm riding, I know I said last night it was like 50 miles shorter. That's actually tomorrow, not today. So uh, I'm riding right about 600 miles again today. Where's my key? And uh, the only... Well, there's a couple good things about that. Number one, I'm not losing an hour of time today. I'm staying in uh, the Pacific time zone. And the other cool thing is I get to go back through uh, Liard Hot Springs. And that's where we saw all the animals a few days ago, like the, uh, the bears and uh, all the buffalo and stuff. So as long as I can avoid them all, uh, it should be should be pretty fun. All right, leaving Whitehorse this morning. The uh, destination for later today is uh, Fort Nelson. Like I said, rode through there earlier in the trip. Did not stay there. Uh, I really did like that lodge I stayed at, uh, Northern Rockies Lodge, but for about a third of the price, I can uh, ride a few more miles today and uh and stay in a decent hotel and gets me a little bit closer to home so tell you what it is a bit cool out this morning i think i'm going to turn on the uh some of the heated equipment on the bike here i don't think that's going to last terribly long i'd say it's about seven right now i'd say by about 10 o'clock maybe 11 this morning i'll be coming out of some of these layers and uh it's supposed to heat up pretty good i think it's even supposed to get near near 80 where I'm headed today. In talking with some of the locals and then also just some of the guys that routinely ride these parts of the country, they said this is unseasonably warm up here, so, which makes sense. I mean, we do have a heat advisory in effect, but they said it gets pretty warm up here in the uh, summertime, but not quite this warm, not usually anyway. Second coyote I've missed in the last two days walking down alongside the road. I'm all right if I don't see many of those. Just stopped here at this trading post in Teslin, which is also a, it's actually like a full grocery store in there for a quick snack. A little over 100 miles in. Weather's been a little cool this morning, but uh. Otherwise, pretty good. Once I finish this, I'll probably head down to Watson Lake, which is about 90 miles, get some fuel there, and then uh, head on down through uh, the Hot Springs and uh, Muncho Lake. Yay, one of these uber fun steel graded bridges, my favorites. bike is sitting at 23,999 miles, which means, I don't know if it's when it hits 24,000 or when it goes past 24,000, no more factory warranty. Not that I'm worried about it or anything, but it's just kind of a big moment here for the bike, so we'll wait. Oh, there it goes, 24,000 miles, and I've had this thing for less than two years, and there's going to be a hell of a lot more put on it before, uh, or I don't really put them away for the winter anymore, but before peak riding season ends, let's just put it that way. Just 
made it into Watson Lake. Oh yeah, I remember this fuel station now. Which is good because uh, I'm about out of gas. And uh, there's the uh, signpost forest up there. It's all starting to come back to me now. It's all coming back to me. I was, I was like, where did I stop for gas again when I came through here? So anyway, I'm gonna top off, well not top off, fill up the damn tank because it's, uh, it's, it's close to empty. Probably got a gallon, gallon and a half left. And then uh, probably get on my way here. 282 miles that tank. All right, full tank of gas. Went in through a new uh, fully charged battery in the GoPro as well. And there's your one last look of the uh, signpost forest as I get out of uh, Watson's Lake once again. It has warmed up a little bit, so I went ahead and peeled a layer off back there and uh, put on my lighter weight gloves. Here's another cool look at that place. Somebody's walking their dog through there. A lot more people there than when I, uh, when I stopped in there the other day. Some RVs and SUVs pulled over. Pretty damn cool. So in looking at the miles we've covered so far today, about 280 miles, I've got about 320 left to go. So not quite to the halfway point, but we'll be here shortly. Um, it's really gonna be pushing it to, uh, to get there on this tank of fuel. I know my low fuel light's been kicking on around 280, 290, something like that. And I normally have about a gallon, gallon and a half left. So in theory, I could probably make it this isn't a place where I want to test out theories so I'm probably gonna stop in Moonshire Lake at that lodge that I stayed at because I know they have fuel there and that's where I last filled up to get to Watson Lake Glasgow round so if I fill up there it'll be easy getting into uh, Fort Nelson for the night top the tank off when I get to Fort Nelson so I can leave on a fuel tank a uh, full tank in the morning and uh, be all set now one other thing is for the next, let's see, we're at Watson Lake, that's 400 miles away from the Pink Mountain Resort. So probably, and yeah, really probably, probably coming up pretty soon, need to be on the lookout. Of course, you always need to be on the lookout for wildlife, but that's, we're coming up on the area probably within the next 30, 40 minutes where I saw all those bears and, uh, and buffalo and stuff along the way up here. So hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully I don't miss 90% of the bears like I did last. Well, let me take it back. Hopefully I don't miss getting on film 90% of the bears. Hopefully I, I miss 100% of them with the uh, bike. And now we're back in British Columbia. Do not feed the wildlife. And I remember all these caution signs and you need them. Bison on highway, Moocher Lake, Yukon. Bear. Who knows, I might've missed other ones already, but that spotted the first one I saw on camera. Never good when you see somebody pulled over like this, though. I don't think anyone's hurt this go around. I don't think they've hit anything. I think they're just pulled over, getting a good look at uh, whatever's here on the left, which is a giant bison. There he is. Not a very good shot of him, though. We got an RV. Oh, wow. That's why we've got an RV with his hazard lights on, because we've got a bunch of buffalo even a couple calves out there hey there fellas oh shit hopefully he gets across the road here relatively quickly because um i don't want to be stuck out in the road with him as long as he decides not to turn back around, of course, now there's another one coming up. Is he going to keep going? These guys in these RVs, they're, uh, they're pretty well suited. Me? Um, you know, my Alpine Stars uh, Valparaiso 2 jacket and pant combo are armored, but uh, <laughs> I don't think they were designed for, for bison horns, so... Wow, that's probably the biggest group I've seen of them on this trip. Uh, I saw a bigger group at Custer State Park 
a couple years back, but you know they were kind of lazy, just uh, just laying around, lounging out in the sunlight. So uh, I think it's definitely bigger than the group we saw on the way out through here. I wouldn't have mind being able to stop and take a couple pictures there, but uh, with buffalo or bison on on both sides of the road there, eh, it's not a real safe situation to be in. Well, I was actually prepared to uh, spot the bears today, but aside from that first one, I haven't seen any in, like the last, I don't know, probably about 40 miles. So um, normally they're out here alongside the road in the, uh, in the grass areas, but I guess they're all in the woods today and <laughs> you know what bears do in the woods. made our way back into Muncho Lake which is uh, where I stayed last week for a night at the lodge come a couple of bikes the KLR 650s anyway um, I'm looking at my fuel gauge here and it looks like you know I've got 156 miles left to cover my fuel range is 160 miles and like I said this thing normally leaves over a gallon left in it to the good so I decided I want to stop up here and get gas at the lodge, which isn't the cheapest thing, or, uh, or just go ahead and ride it on out. I think I'm going to ride it on out. crazy I'm a mile and a half away from 300 on this tank so I'm sitting at 298 and a half and the low fuel light hasn't kicked on yet I've got 29 more miles left to go also side note since I last filled up with gas I haven't gotten off the bike so I've been sitting here I guess I stood up a little up oh, there's the low fuel light I was hoping we'd make it to 300 but this hill uh, isn't gonna allow it so we made it to 298.9 before it kicked on so I knew I was pushing it a little bit. My low fuel light has been on now for about 27, 28 miles, but we're about two miles from town, plenty of gas stations up here, and uh, the hotel's right up here too. So I'm just about done riding for the day. Uh, I've been on the bike for uh, four hours, 57 minutes since last stopping, so it'd be nice to hop off this thing, get a shower and get some food, but gas first because I don't want to push it. pizza place right next to it. I've seen these Boston pizzas all the way up through here and I've never eaten one. I know I just had pizza two nights ago, but um, I think I might try it out. I don't know what this guy's doing. don't really care. We went super classy tonight. Good old Tombow Debt. I'm Tombow Debt from Motel 6 and we'll leave the light on for you. Three hours later. All right, so got checked in here to the Motel 6 actually hours ago. Let me give you a quick tour of the place and then I'll explain why I haven't filmed anything in hours. So uh, this is the bedroom area. This is actually a newly renovated place. I'm doing some footage dumpage onto the computer right now. Flat screen TV, mirror. Got my riding gear hung up back here. You've got a, a fridge, microwave, and the bathroom area, which I just took advantage of by getting a nice hot shower. All right, so why haven't I posted anything in hours? Well, um, shortly after checking in, I noticed next door to me, there was a V-Strom parked 
and he's got California plates. So within like two minutes of me loading my stuff in here into the room, I got a knock on the door. The guy was standing up front, asked if that was my bike. I said, yeah, he said, I'm riding the V-Strom. And he noticed my West Virginia plates. Come to find out, he's originally from Clarksburg, West Virginia. Uh, so he invited me to uh, drink some scotch. So we went over to the uh, fire pit, drank some scotch. He smoked a stogie. Uh, we ended up going out to dinner, had a great conversation tonight. Uh, the guy's name was Bruce, really, really cool guy. Uh, we've actually been hanging out for probably like every bit of two, three hours right now. Um, he's on his way up north. I'm obviously headed south and east to get back home. But uh, <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? You meet someone else from the state of West Virginia, even though you know I'm like 3,000 miles away from home. So um, I just didn't feel like I needed to film anything tonight. Uh, it was just one of those cool times, cool experiences that you have on a trip like this that you're not really expecting. So uh, big thanks to Bruce for wanting to hang out tonight. That was uh, that was really cool. So i um, give you a couple of updates. Uh, tomorrow, like I said, I got a little over 500, 550 miles, something like that. I'm looking at my rear tire and uh, I don't think it's going to make it. So I'm going to do a little research on the computer tonight. I think my front tire is going to be fine, but I'm probably going to stop somewhere and get a new rear tire put on before I get back home. Um, I do have a set of tires I can put on once I get home, but not going to do me much good right now. So anyway, I'm going to finish up uh, some stuff here on the computer, uh, getting the footage dumped from earlier today. It was a really fun ride today. Didn't see quite as many bears as I'd like, but I uh, saw plenty of uh, bison, buffalo. Anyway, uh, do a little bit of research. Might maybe go ahead and book tomorrow's hotel room. Uh, tomorrow will be Wednesday, Thursday. I'm planning on, hopefully, if everything goes as planned, I'm meeting up with someone that many of you guys may recognize from uh, YouTube and Instagram. We'll find out. Don't know for sure, but we're working on it. And then uh, that's about it. So uh, I'm going to get this work done, and then I'm going to get some sleep because another uh, big mileage day tomorrow. So uh, see you guys in the morning.